Although it has outlived the great suspension bridges, the Eiffel Tower is not invincible. In the time of humans, its iron superstructure had to be painted every seven years to protect it from corrosion. Comparable in both age and structure, the Eiffel Tower has a lot in common with the 300-foot-high Kinzua Railway Viaduct in Pennsylvania. It was a bridge that was wrought iron originally. It was reconstructed about the turn of the century in steel. And what happens here, of course, is that unless it's maintained, corrosion occurs. And what happens at the corrosion? The connection points freeze up. They are not allowed to move. And here are some pieces from that viaduct. You can see that there's corrosion all over the place. That's no longer steel. A structure with frozen connection points can't absorb the stress imposed by high winds. Eventually, in this strong windstorm, it literally fell over. Section by section, piece by piece, it fell over into the valley where it had spanned the valley for over a hundred years. Just not maintained. You can think of many uh, structures that are coming from that same era, like the Eiffel Tower. It's an iconic structure. That doesn't shield it from the fact that it's in a corrosive environment. And so in time, if you do not do anything for that structure, it will fail. And it will come down. 